It's been quite a ride for these young spring run Chinook salmon, first evacuated from the Feather River fish hatchery after dirty water from the damaged Oroville spillway threatened their lives. The two million spring run Chinook that we have here today is, is just great evidence of, of the sort of quick um, response of these people to get these fish uh, safe and sound. Since then, they've been living and growing here at the Thermolito Annex Hatchery along Highway 99, where conditions have become a bit crowded. This hatchery was never designed to support 5 million fish, so it's important that we get them out of the hatchery and get them into the river system just as soon as possible. Along with the other species here, these fish are the VIPs because of their listing on both the state and federal endangered species list. Our spring run Chinook salmon come up early in the springtime. They hold in the river over the summertime and they spawn in the fall. Typically the hatchery would wait a little bit longer before they would release these small fish, but because of overcrowding here at the annex, they have to do it today. A little bit smaller than we'd like, but, but we think these fish have a really great chance of, of, you know, making it out to the ocean where they're meant to go. Each of these fish, all one million of them moving today, have had a wire with a unique code inserted in their snout. The data collected from that code, if and when they return, will help fishery managers in the future. We know um, what hatchery they came from. We know where they were released. So um, we'll be able to tell um, that these fish are, were released in the Feather River, and we'll be able to tell the year that they were released. Those results will come in two to five years when the salmon come home. That way they can determine if their efforts are making a difference for this endangered fish. In Oroville, Brian Hickey, KCRA 3 News.